Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome to the stage Gordon James Cracker, better known as Jimmy. Just a nice photo, gentlemen. Come and have a quick chat, Jimmy. No. Good on you, mate. Uh, John, thank you very much indeed. Um, how did it feel to hear all those lovely words about you? You're a very modest man. Yeah, no, thanks, Johnny, for all those kind words, bro. We, um, <clears throat> yeah, no, we, he was a good teammate and um, yeah, we had a lot of good years together. Well, you really only ever wanted to play footy for Mount Barker because your dad had played footy there. Then you went to Claremont and all of a sudden Arden Street. It was a heck of a move to make as a very young man. Yeah, we, um, you know, when we started off in Mount Barker, it was, um, <clears throat> you know, you started off in the Nippers, thirds, and um, in the league. And we heard about Perth, but um, Melbourne could have been on the moon for a win. You, so. <laughs> <laughs> but was it, was it hard to adjust coming to live in a big city like Melbourne? <clears throat> It was. Um, I think the initial move from Mount Barker to Perth with the artist, um, you know, we used to like trying to get back home to every weekend after the games and that, so... But I think um, coming to Melbourne was a bit easier because of um, the initial move from Barker to Perth. Perth. And having Phil here <coughs> must have been great support for both of you. Yeah, Phil, um, we played a lot of our footy together. Um, Played eight years at the Kangas and four at Clermont, so yeah, Phil's been a big part of my football and my life, yeah, for sure. Well, John mentioned about uh, what a tough bloke you were. Who was the best one you missed during your career? Was there one that you thought, well, you mentioned the flu, you could have got him, but was there one you missed? Oh, no, I've got a few of them, but um. <laughs> Yeah, no, that night when we played against Richmond, I'd, I seen um, Dale King it, Johnny, and um, yeah, I tried to square up, but uh, yeah, I just missed him. I tell you, yeah. you would have been the bloke to do it. Um, Jimmy, I'm sure, I know you, you I'm talking to your sister Megan over there earlier tonight, <coughs> I was. Um, I'm sure there's a few people you'd like to thank. Yeah, um, I'd like to thank the North Melbourne Football Club for it's a privilege and honour to, um, for this, for this award. Um, um, yeah, Mum and Dad. I'd love to thank Mum and Dad. Um, without them, things wouldn't have been possible. Um, and the family, I'd like to thank them. Um, uh, my girlfriend, or the wife, Fiona, she, she, she was very helpful in those days, so she did a, played a big part. Um, <clears throat> Ronnie Joseph, when he recruited us from, from Clermont, yeah, thanks, Ronnie. So, <clears throat> um, all the supporters, I've had a lot of good supporters from the Kangas um, in my footy career and back home as well. So, yeah, thanks for that, supporters. Um, yeah. That's it. Um, my brother, Phil, I'd like to, you know, give a sincere thanks to him because um, <clears throat> he's part of the reason that I think um, I did so well because... You know, we played a lot of our football together and, um, yeah, if it wasn't for him, I'd, <clears throat> I don't think... Um, oh, well, he played a big part too, so... Yeah. Yeah. Good on you, Jimmy. Folks, Jimmy Cracker, what a great player, what a great man. Well done, mate. Head of the Hall of Fame and thoroughly deserved, as always.